Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a toroid that has the following properties. So, if you don't know what a toroid is, I drew a little picture here. It's essentially an iron core donut with some wire wrapped around it. And it has 100 turns. The magnetic permeability is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 4. It has a length of 0 0.1 pi meters a cross-sectional area of pi times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared, and a magnetic field of 0 0.5 tesla. And we're asked to find the current going through this toroid. So, as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So, to go ahead and solve this, we can go to the FE handbook. And here on page 202, uh, we have an inductor. And we have some, some formulas for an inductor. And so these, I looked through the handbook, and these seem to be the only equations that they gave us. And they kind of want us to, to derive the, the value here. So we're given here inductance is equal to n squared mu a divided by L. And we're given this expression, uh, the number of turns times the flux is equal to the inductance times the current. And that I is what we're looking to, to solve for. And so we're given L here. We can plug in L into the bottom expression here and solve for I. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy those down. Let's change colors here. We were given that L inductance was N squared mu a divided by l mu a divided by l and then we were also given that and flux is equal to li so n times the flux is equal to l i and so we can solve for i here uh, I is equal to N flux divided by L, and we can plug in L. So that's N flux N squared mu A divided by L. Okay, and now we can rearrange that as follows N squared mu A. The ends here cancel, and then we're left with flux L N mu A. And from here, um, we know that flux is equal to the magnetic field times area, and so that means that the magnetic field is equal to the flux divided by area, which is this quantity here. So that gives us then, we have B L over N mu. And we can plug those values in. We should have all the values that we need. We have B is equal to half. L is equal to 0 0.1 pi. N is equal to 100. And mu is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 4. All right. And when we plug all that in, we get a current value of 1.25 amps. And that is our answer. And so I would say um, one of the tricky things is uh, knowing that the magnetic field is equal to the flux divided by the area. But if you didn't know that, that that formula is also in the handbook. So if you go to page 200, you have the induced voltage here. And here on the bottom, we have that the flux is equal to the surface integral of the magnetic field times ds, 
the surface area. So that from there you can derive that phi is equal to b times a. So that's one way of solving it. Um, I actually didn't solve it that way. Um, I solved it this way for you guys so because that is what those are the formulas that are given in the FE handbook. Um, what I do is I commit to memory um, a few basic simple to remember formulas and I'll show you that now and with those basic formulas I derive any quantity that I need. I'll share that with you guys now. So the formulas that I usually just commit to memory that um, I find very handy and I was able to solve this problem just by by simply deriving it from these formulas that I've commit to memory. So I remember that magnetomotive force, F, is equal to the number of turns times the current. And from Maxwell's equations, I know that that equals the magnetic field intensity times the length. I also remember that B is equal to mu H, and then I plug that in. And so, let's see, B over mu L. And then I know that B is equal to flux divided by area, so I plug that in. Flux divided by area mu L. And then I know that this quantity here is equal to reluctance. So now I, I have an expression for pretty much all the quantities that I need. So just, just remembering those basic relationships that apply to all circuits, I was able to derive the current uh, quite easily using this and this. And I would just re rearrange the terms here, solve for the current, and get the same answer as before, the 1.25 amps. And that's how I did it. If it's easier for you guys to look at the the FE handbook and not memorize anything, then, then go that route. Just showing you how I solved it. This basic relationship I've just committed to memory, and um, it helps me with any magnetic problem I need. And you can also derive inductances from, from here as well, if that's what you're looking for. But that one directly is in, the, um, is in the handbook, so I don't really remember that one. So, did you guys enjoy that? Leave me a comment below, and until then, enjoy engineering.